This is the top 15 most amazing long distance shots. Boston. Oh, and now Curry gets it right back from half court. And it's good! Coming up first, you already know who it is. It's Steph Chef. Look at Curry, man, with the behind the back and then the ridiculous half court shot. Crawford drives on Durant. Double clutch. Off the rim. Curry has time. Three seconds. Curry from half court. These things tend to happen here at all. Coming up next, we have Stephen Adams proving that he is better than Tom Brady with this one-handed shot from beyond half court. Now, no fouls. It'll be Stephen Adams. They give Stephen Adams some... And wow! He got it. The one-hander from half court. Wow! I was going to say, that's Steven the second Adams. percentage buster that they've given him. Wow! The big man slings it up. At Coming up at number 13, we have Steph Curry shooting a three from the opposite end of the court. On a three, Rudy Gay driving all the way to the rim. Steph from three-quarter court. And he banked it in! He banked it in, he got it off in time and hit it from 75 feet. Well, the... At number 12, the Lord himself answers Zari Williams' full court prayer. There, time is running out. And banking it in from three-quarter court. Unbelievable shot by Zaire Williams. Coming up next, Andre Drummond knocks down this shot from over three-quarter court, which is the most exciting thing to happen to Detroit in about 12 years. Guarding DeRozan here, five seconds, four. Patterson puts it down, poked away, picked up by Andre from oh, three quarter, Lord. four, and he hit it! He had his eyes on the prize and let it fly! Wow! Listen to this crowd. You want to pick me up? You got it right there from Andre. At number 10, we have Andre Iguodala getting away with third degree assault and then Steph Curry knocks down the full court shot. Rebound with time, Come on. four green. You gotta push here, you, you get a good shot. Green weaving, trying to get the shot up, no call that way. Curry flings it the other way and he got it! What a turnaround, Curry the three! Now the fans are upset, the coaching staff from Memphis, very upset. They're calling security guys here to come down onto the floor right. Coming up next, Taj Gibson gets the steal and then just yates up a prayer at the end of the quarter. A baseball pitcher at Notre Dame showing off that. Picked up on the deflection by Taj, good at the goals! He got it! What a shot by Taj Gibson! At number eight, our precious King LeBron James knocks down the full court shot. It was so hard for me not to put this at number one. And they are manufacturing fouls for this team. Coming in at number seven, Jeremy Lamb was on the verge of signing with the Shanghai Sharks until he knocks down this half-court shot for the win. Here's have two timeouts. Siakam disrupts it. Lamb has to throw it up. Oh it goes! It goes! A desperation three. Coming up next, we have a legendary, an absolute legendary moment where Kyle Lowry knocks down the buzzer beater to tie the game. The Raptors would go on to lose in overtime. They need a three to tie. Lowry, half court heave, a prayer at the buzzer. Oh! Kyle Lowry! He hits! Overtime! 
and Toronto. At number five, Dwayne Wade with the block and then the full court shot at the buzzer. This was one of the most exciting plays I've ever seen when I was about three years old. At number four, Devontae Graham launches it from a different state and somehow knocks down the full court buzzer beater for the win. The ball is inbounded to Shea. Temple did not fail. And Shea on the step back still buries the three. Seconds. And you know what's interesting about that? He was trying. Oh, Graham! Count the bucket for the win. Devontae Graham walks it off. Coming up next, Detroit are down by three with about a second left and they somehow get a steal and Rashid Wallace knocks down the shot over half court to tie the game. From long range. And Rashid from long range. Oh! Yes! 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 Oh! yes! yes! She sticks it off glass as time runs out. You know, he practices those. At number two, I thought there was a clown out there, but it was just Harris juggling the ball around for about 20 seconds before he puts up the half-court shot to win the game. Philadelphia by one. Simmons gets it into Harris. Harris thought he was fouled. Harris scores! It appeared he got it off on time. Let's see. No indication. They will certainly review that. Philadelphia giving the indication that they've won. And at number one, we have one of my favorite plays of all time, Tyreek Evans from three-quarter court for the win. An iconic moment in NBA history. Mayo, off balance, MJ Mayo. Oh my goodness, can you believe that? 1.5 seconds, no timeouts. Tyreek, Tyreek at the hole. Yeah! 